Hey guys, PK here. So today I'm going to cover some spinning reels for surf fishing on the Oregon coast. Now as you can imagine there are many many options, okay? I mean there's just so many that there's no way I can cover every spinning reel. So I'm just going to cover the, the ones that I've used here on the coast. I've used a lot of spinning reels for surf fishing here on the Oregon coast and I've set on a, a couple that I really like that I, I use all the time. So let's get started. So the first reel I'm going to talk about is the, um, the Shimano FX. This is the size 2500 and I have a braid line spooled on here. Um, I've used this on the surf. It, it, it catches a lot of fish, a lot of surf perch. It's very light, um, you know, it's compact. Uh, with a size 2500, you're not going to be able to put a lot of line on there, especially 20 pound braid. Um, I have here 10 pound braid spooled, and I like using braid because, you know, it's very sensitive and it, it just casts a lot further than mono, okay? So the Shimano FX uh, spinning reel, it comes in pretty cheap. This is about, oh, what is it about? It's under 20 bucks. It's, so it's, it's very cheap. Um, it's definitely within everyone's budget so that's the first reel that I've used here on Oregon coast and it's held up pretty good it's 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 a smooth reliable reel the next reel I'm going to talk about is the uh, Shimano Sienna um, this is a very plop <clears throat> excuse me this is a very popular reel this is also a size 2500 um, it's about it's the same size as the FX uh, it holds about the same amount of line um, this reel is brand new I haven't spooled it up yet but I have used some old Shimano Sienna in the past and uh, it works really well. It's a little bit smoother than the FX and this comes in I believe around, oh I can't remember, around 28 to 30 dollars. Don't quote me on that. I, I'm, I, I forgot how much I bought it for but it's a pretty nice reel. Um, size 2500, it's compact, it's small, it's light. So if you do use this reel, I would suggest about 15 pound braid for surf fishing on the Oregon coast. It's got a very good drag. It's very smooth as I've said and it does have a uh, anti-reverse switch back here. Okay, so that is the uh, Shimano Sienna 2500 model FE, okay? Okay, so the next reel is um, my Shimano Stratic CI4 Plus. This is my, my first Stratic that I've owned. Um, it's, it's very light and smooth. Um, again, this is size 2500. I have 10 pound braid on here. Um, I've used this for about three or four months out in the surf. It does perform very nicely. I caught a lot of surf perch with it. It casts pretty far too. And the drag, of course, you know, Shimano drag can't go wrong with it. It does make a little sound right now. Um, as you turn it, I, I just need to open up this port right here and put in some more grease or oil. But this is, um, this is a pretty nice reel for surf fishing. Okay, Shimano Stratic CI4 Plus size 2500 um, FA. Okay, the next reel is gonna be the Shimano Bait Runner 4000D. Um, this one I've used many, many times. I uh, <clears throat> excuse me on the coast. Um, I caught a lot of surf perch with it. Um, it does have an anti-reverse switch down here. Um, the one thing about this uh, this model is the gear ratio is not all that great. And I noticed the gear ratio being slow. Um, the first time I've used it, I I reel in, reel in, reel in, and just keep on thinking, where is my bait? Um, because of the slow gear ratio, um, you're, when you reel in, you know, it's going to take a little bit longer, of course, and that was one factor why I stopped using it. It's still a great reel, but um, when I'm out surf fishing, you know, when I reel in my bait, especially I want to cast out there really quickly, I need a high gear ratio. Um, and this one does not have it, but it, it casts a country mile. It's, it's very, very smooth. It's got an excellent drag, okay? And um, I have 20 pound braid on here. There's, um, there's absolutely nothing wrong with this reel. Um, I, I just prefer one with a higher gear, <coughs> gear ratio, okay? So Shimano Bait Runner 4000D. This is a little bit heavier. The 4000D comes in at about 13 and a half ounce, okay? So there it is. Okay, so the next reel is the Fluger Supreme. This is, this is a very old reel of mine. Um, this is actually the, uh, the older model. They have a new, uh, new model out right now. Um, it's actually pretty smooth. It has 10 ball bearings. Got a pretty big spool 
tool. If you're fishing 20 pound braid, you can put in about two and a yard, which is perfect for surf fishing on the Oregon coast. One of the nice thing here is like the drag is pretty smooth. And um, also right there, gear ratio 6.2. So that's very fast. When, you, when I paired it with my 10 foot salmon rod, um, it's a pretty good combination. It's very light, it's under 10 ounce. Um, it casts pretty far. And uh, as you can see, it's, it's pretty smooth. Nothing wrong with it. Um, but right now, I was just kind of sitting in, in, in my room catching dust, so I kind of moved on from this reel. The price on this one, I don't remember. I know the new model is about 100 bucks, so it should be around there. There's nothing wrong with the old model. I mean, if you can, you can still find the old model on Amazon or eBay. Um, you can save some money and just get the old model. It works fine. You know, pretty smooth, very reliable. Um, okay, so Fluger Supreme, this is the biggest size they have. Um, this one is the uh, model A240MG. Okay, moving on. So the next one we got this giant reel. I actually used this in a surf once. This is huge. Look at the size of this reel, guys. Just for a comparison, okay, there is a Sienna 2500. And there is the uh, Ultegra 14,000. Okay, look at the size of that massive spool. Um, the drag is, is, is pretty big. It's, uh, I think the drag is around 40 pounds, which is, <laughs> it's, it's humongous. And um, I have, uh, this is 80 pound. I used to put uh, 40, 30 pounds on here. Um, I took that off and I put 80 pound braid on here because I'm using this as my uh, crab snare reel now. But I did fish with this massive, massive reel here. The, it, it is pretty heavy, it's pretty bulky. It comes in, uh, it's gonna be about around 20 ounce, I believe. So there it is, Shimano Ultegra, uh, 14,000. Um, this is, I, I, don't, oops, I don't recommend this reel at all. <laughs> it is way too big unless you, know, unless you wanna use it, but um, there are better options that are much uh, lighter. Okay, so there it is, side-by-side -side comparison. Okay, moving on, um, this is, the next one we have is the Pen Battle 2 4000. This is the one I use a lot more often now. Um, this is a very, very awesome reel. It's very smooth. It's not, it's not the same as the Stratic Smooth, but it has, it's, it's a different kind of smoothness. It, it has five stainless steel ball bearings, and I'm thinking there is also one more roller bearing. Um, the bail flips over with a very crisp sound, and it does have automatic trip. The drag is pretty phenomenal. Very loud, I really like that. Um, it does not have an anti-reverse switch. One of the cool thing about this reel is that the, uh, the handle is kind of rubbery, um, so you can grip it in any type of uh, condition. It won't slip on you. It turns very smooth. It casts very, very far. I have 20 pound braid spooled on here. Uh, 20 pound is what I use. Um, I, I sometimes use 15 pound braid as well. And with, with 20 pound braid, you can, right here it says 260 yards. So that is, that's a lot of line. This is the size 4000 model and it comes in just under 13 ounce. Now you don't have to go this big um, for the uh, spinning reel for surf fishing. Um, here is a size, let's see, I believe this is a 2500. Yeah, um, this size 2500. Um, this is fine right here. If, if you do get a 2500, I would suggest putting on a 10 pound braid or 15 pound braid so you can get more line capacity on there. The 2500 does have an anti-reverse switch down here. Um, same smoothness, exact same reel. This is just a smaller size. You know, awesome bail, awesome drag, very, very light, and it's gonna cast pretty far. Uh, this is, this reel, you know, pen quality, very tough, very durable. When I was in Alaska, that's all I used for salmon fishing. Uh, you know, this pen spin fisher, I really like them. Um, you know, they have a very good reputation. Um, they're pretty much bomb proof guys. They're they're one of the best brands out there So a very good reel for surf fishing. Okay, lastly we come to um, Probably my favorite reel of all time. Oh By the way before I forget sorry um, the pen battle um, They range the price range from 
$80 up to about $110, depending on where you get it. Um, I got the 4000 off Amazon, I believe, for about $89. Um, it's well worth the money. Very, very good spinning reel. Now, back to the last reel we're going to talk about for today. Um, the Stratic CI4 Plus. Um, this is my, my baby right here. This is my favorite reel of all time. Um, this is a size 4000. Um, my favorite spinning reel for surf fishing. Um, it is extremely light. This size 4000 comes at a whopping 8 ounce, so that's pretty dang light. It's <laughs> You can't go wrong with the smoothness. Very, very smooth. It does not have an anti-reverse switch. It's got a lot of awesome technology in this reel. The main reason why I chose this reel is because, you know, uh, I'm a big uh, CI4 Plus um, I'm a big Stratic fan, um, especially of the CI4 Plus uh, line. Um, it's very light, very dependable, very smooth. Um, it's, it's just super, super awesome. The drag is top notch. Um, you got the one piece bale. Aesthetically, it looks pretty nice. Very beautiful reel. For this one here, I have it spooled up with 15 pound braid. I like the green color because it, it just tends to blend in better in a surf. Um, this reel, I paired it with a 10 foot salmon rod uh, with my Cabela's tourney trail. And man, I'm telling you, it's, it's, a, it's a beautiful marriage. The, the combination rod and reel together plus line is just under one pound. So it's very light, very sensitive. Um, definitely my dream setup, okay? Okay, so I've shown you a lot of the reels that I've used over the years. Um, of course, this is not all of it. This is only about half of it. I've used other um, other spinning reels, uh, especially from Daiwa and, you know, other different models from Penn and Shimano. But um, this is just some of it. This is just to give you an idea um, which spinning reel um, to buy. Of course, these reels aren't perfect. Some of these aren't cheap, some have different features, you know, some are lighter, some have different line capacity. And it, it, so it's, it's really hard for me to say, okay, this, re this one reel is like the best overall spinning reel for the Oregon coast, for surf fishing on the Oregon coast. Now, you're probably wondering, okay, which one would I recommend? Um, the, the Shimano Stratic, um, it, it's... Of course, it's a nice reel, but um, it's, it's going to cost about $250. So that's definitely, you know, for most people, that's not really worth it. The FX is under $20, but um, sometimes people want something a little bit better than that. But if I were to choose, um, you know, if I were to go back and choose over, I would probably choose the Pen Battle 2. Um, it's a very nice reel, you know, pen quality, ultra smooth, ultra reliable. It's built like a tank. I've dropped this in the sand, in the surf, um, concrete, not this one, my older model, um, but it's, it has lots of line capacity. For 20 pound braid, you can put um, about almost 300 yards with it. It's got a very nice textured handle that won't slip on you. The bale is, you know, it flips over easy and it comes back very easy too. Um, awesome, awesome drag. Uh, five seal bearings. Here is the actual specs on it. Um, this is the 5000 model that I just got. Uh, as you can see all the specs here. Very, very nice. The best bang for your buck, I feel, is the Pen Battle 2. Now, it's going to run you about $100. Um, some of you might say, well, that's really too expensive for a spinning reel. Um, to be honest, it's it's you have to look at it as an investment. Okay, how much, how many fish are you gonna catch with it? You know, because that you're bringing home dinner, so that's a pretty good investment in itself. And the best part about the Battle Two line is that they have a wide range of uh, of of sizes to choose from. You know, they have it from the 1,000 up to the 8,000. You know, 1,000 for for panfish, um, the 2,500 for trout and bass, and so on. And you know, if you want a little bit something a little bit bigger you know the 5,000 here you know for for salmon um, so it's it's a really good uh, it's a really good spinning wheel because it has all these features and it has so many options of so many sizes to choose from okay so the pen battle 2 is the one I would highly recommend you get if you were to like just build your ultimate uh, surf fishing rig okay so I think that's about it I um, I hope I, I cover as much as I can, and hopefully this video is going to help you make a, a better choice as which reel to buy. 
Um, of course, as I said, this is not everything. You know, there's so many more reels on the market that there's no way I can cover it all. Um, so this is what I have. Um, this is what I use in the past, and it worked really well for me. Okay. So, all right, guys. So that's about it. Thanks for watching this video. Um, please like, share, and subscribe. And I hope to see you, most of you, at the surf fishing tournament here coming up on March 24th. All right, guys. Have fun fishing. Tight lines.